Price is right pricing game recap may contain profanity toward the contestants' decision making in pricing games that can be categorized as either stupid or being misled by the audience that's portrayed as a heel for entertainment purposes only. In reality, Mr. Horgan doesn't show any prejudice toward the contestants based on their gender, their ethnicity, and their intelligence. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the fabulous Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Tuesday the 15th of January 2013. Here are the pricing games that were played today. Range Game, Half Off, Temptation, Double Prices, Pocket Change, and One Right Price. Taquala from Detroit was the first contestant. She played Range Game for a chance to win a trip to Tahiti. That included a five-night stay in a premium suite at the Oceanfront Radisson Plaza Resort to Heat. Plus, a black sand massage modeled by the awesome Amber Lancaster. The lowest price on the range was $10,300, and the highest price was $10,900. So Kuala froze the $150 range between about $10,430 and $10,580. Now Drew mentioned to Taqua while she was looking at her friends in the audience to hit the button at any time she wanted. Uh, it was after that when he told her that she stopped the button pretty quick. Uh, she didn't seem too happy about her choice. Drew told her that once it stops, you can't start. And to be honest with you, I think she did stop too early. Well, when the actual retail price appeared in the dark green strip, it turned out to be ten thousand six hundred twelve. Missed it by thirty-two dollars. Close, but no cigar. Andrea from Costa Mesa was the second contestant. She played half off for a chance to win $10,000. The marvelous Manuel Arbelez modeled the three small prizes on her left. And Amber modeled the three small prizes on her right. First off, we had a sweet tea brewer and a cake pop maker. That's nonstick and bakes up to six cakes at a time. Andrew believed that the sweet tea brewer at $25 was half off and not the cake pop maker at $20. Manuel revealed the price of the sweet tea brewer to be $50. It was the half off price. The eight boxes that went away were 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 13, 14, and 16. Next we had a polka dot towel with a matching bag and a stainless steel fondue set. That's durable. Andrea believed that the polka dot towel and bag set was the half off price at $24 and not the fondue set at $90. Manuel revealed the price of the towel set to be $24. Very familiar price, folks. It should have been the fondue to pick. That was $180. Another familiar price. So now in our third and final attempt of getting rid of half the boxes, we had a Cuisinart electric can opener that has a brushed stainless steel finish, and an electric wine opener that has a built-in foil cutter and an AC adapter. Andrea believed that the electric wine opener at $19 was half off and not the can opener at $45. Amber revealed the price of the wine opener to be $19, should it shows that can opener, that's electric, it was $90. Yeah, that's a very familiar price for that wine opener, 19 bucks. And uh, Andrea claimed that that's a deal, and you bet it is. <laughs> so the eight boxes left were 1, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 15. Andrea chose box number 10, believing that had the $10,000. And while I was playing along, I was thinking 10 as well. 10 for $10,000. So 
So when Manuela brought the box over to Andrea and Drew, and when it was time for Andrea to open the box, inside there was no ten thousand dollars. The box that had the ten thousand dollars that Manuela showed us was box number eleven, right next door. Oh, too bad. Stephanie was the third contestant. She played Temptation for a chance to win a 2013 Chevy Cruze LS modeled by the radical Rob Wilson. First number of the price of the car was one, and now. Here were the four Temptation prizes. First, Manuela brought out a 10.1 megapixel Leica digital camera that has an optical image stabilizer. Priced at $799, Stephanie believed that 9 was the second number. Next, Amber brought out $949 in cash. Stephanie believed that 4 was the third number and not 9. Next, we had two pairs of headphones that have a precision engineered design and powered application. And it also came with a high voltage circuitry speaker brought out by Manuela, priced at $858. Stephanie believed that 8 was the fourth number. And finally, Amber brought out a Dell laptop computer that has a flip design with a keyboard on one side and on the other side a 10 inch HD touch screen. Priced at $550, Stephanie believed 5 was the last number. So she put a price of $19,485 for the price of the car. She chose not to change any of the numbers as she stuck with her gut on her choices. Now, Drew tempted Stephanie to take the $3,156 worth of prizes. And although Stephanie wanted the car badly, she mentioned that she has rent due, so she believes that the $949 in cash would help her out on that. So she decided to take the prizes. And to be honest with you, I think she made the right choice. So, taking the four small, four, no, they're not small prizes. These are nice prizes. But what is small is the win, as it is a consolation win. But you guys could consider that a big win of sorts as well. Now, would she have won the car? Let's find out. We knew the first number was one. Was the second number a nine? No, it was seven. She did indeed make the right choice. Third number was 9, and she did have the last two numbers right. They were 8 and 5. Actual retail price, $17,985. Okay, Oral from Pennsylvania, the home state of J. Van Diesel and Money 7373, was the fourth contestant. She played double prices for a chance to win a shade collection Ashley Furniture Company Contemporary Bedroom Group where the two drawers underneath are for extra storage. Also came with a Luxor Queen mattress from Comfort Air and two 16 gig tablets, each having a 7 inch HD display with anti-glare technology, all modeled by Manuela. The high price was $6,147. The low price was $4,016. Oral chose the high price of $6,147. And when Manuela took away the low price and Drew revealed the actual retail price, it turned out to be... $6,147! Oral became a winner! And her husband in the audience, who she has been married to for 64 years, I believe, as it was mentioned in the second showcase showdown, he was very emotional on his wife's win. God bless him. Alright. Emmanuel from San Francisco. No, it wasn't Emmanuel Lewis from Webster. 
Emmanuel was the fifth contestant. He played Pocket Change for a chance to win a 2013 Fiat 500 top hatchback modeled by Manuela. First number of the price of the car was one. Now, for the second number, Emmanuel believed it was six and not seven, eight, nine, or three. Six was the second number. I thought it was seven. So she got, so he got another envelope right there. Now, for the third number, he believed that it was eight and not seven, nine, or three. Not eight. Manuel rose the price up 25 cents. It was now 50 cents. All right. Next, he believed 9 was the third number, not 7 or 3. Not 9, went up another 25 cents. Manuela rose the price down to 75 cents as the car's total. Uh, now, he believed 7 was the third number, and 7 was the third number. He got another envelope. Now, for the fourth number, he chose 9 and not 8 or 3. And 9 was the 4th number! He got another envelope. And finally, between the 8 and the 3, Emmanuel chose 3 as the last number, and that was the last number! He got another envelope, so the price of the car was $16,793, and it only went up 25 cents twice! So he had to accumulate 75 cents to win. So to go along with the 25 cents he got in the beginning of the game, Drew revealed what the first envelope had, and it contained a dime. It was up to 35 cents. Second envelope contained a quarter. 25 cents, he was now up to 60 cents. He needed 15 cents more to win. The third envelope, that contained, well, I'll tell you this, it has a five in it. also has a zero in it. Now, you're probably thinking, Mr. Horgan, is it 05 as in a nickel? Well, folks, when I mean a five and a zero were in this envelope, I meant 50 cents! He won the car! And the last envelope contained 50 cents, so even if he didn't get it on the third envelope, he would have definitely gotten it on the fourth. So, he definitely had enough pocket change in total to win the car! Way to go, Manuel! Now he doesn't have to take the cable cars in San Fran. <laughs> Alright. Angela was the sixth and final contestant. She played one right price for a chance to win these two prizes. A Honda TRX 90X off-road quad vehicle that has a four-speed semi-automatic transmission and an 86cc air-cooled engine modeled by Rob and a Samsung 64-inch smart 3D TV that has voice navigation, gesture control, and face recognition modeled by Manuela. The one right price of $3,949 was brought out by Amber. Angel believed that it went to the TV and I have to say I had a very good feeling about this. So when Amber placed the $3,949 price on the TV and then revealed the actual retail price, it was $3,949! Angela won the TV and the off-road quad vehicle priced at $2,999 as Rob showed us for a grand total of $6,948 in winnings! Now to the acknowledgement section. According to Ben Mason Television, that's five straight bailouts and five straight playings of Temptation this year. It has to be a record. It has to be. Probably is, but I really haven't been counting. But who is? <laughs> ben Mason Television must be. And Oral went over her showcase by only $184. That has to hurt. Totally. Heartbreak. And uh, my 264 shirt um, was wondering what kind of a name uh, for a person Oral is. Well, that that woman was very sweet, I have to say. But I never knew that there, she was named after a kind of sex or a kind of a uh, presentation in schools. <laughs> Oral presentation, folks. <laughs> Alright, so today we had a pretty good show. We had a perfect second half with 
double prices, pocket change, and one right price being won. And we also gave away the four prizes in Temptation. That was won by Stephanie. That included $949 in cash, just to let you all know. So, the MVPs of the prices right are Oral, Emmanuel, and Angela. And the contestant recognition contestants are Stephanie for her Temptation bailout, and to Tequala for winning her showcase. That included two Garmin GPS units, one being a handheld that has a 3-inch color touchscreen, has 3D map views and electronic compass, and a car unit that has a 5-inch color touchscreen and 5 million points of interest. She also won a trip to Rochester, New York that includes a five-night stay in a premier suite at the Braddock Point Lighthouse. And she also won a 22-foot Catalina Capri 22 sailboat that has a stern-mounted boarding ladder, outboard, bracket, and galley with trailer included. All three of those prizes were modeled by Amber. Tequala bid $25,800 on her showcase. The actual retail price, $33,822 for a difference of $8,022. She won a grand total of $34,388 in prizes on today's show. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right pricing and recap this week is provided by Sharpie. Right out loud! So, who's going to be doing the pricing and recap tomorrow? Will it be me? Or will it be Sports Guy 528 if Switcheroo gets played? Or will it be Martin S5 1989 if Bonus Game gets played? Speaking of Martin S5 1989, I'd like to give a shout out to him right now for uploading um, my, a birthday special to me. And I also want to give a shout out to Sports Guy 528 who must have been very happy to recap Golden Road yesterday. And I have to say, I was very surprised it was on the show. Almost won with that Mercedes Benz, but hopefully it'll be played again before this season ends. I'm sure it will. Oh, this Friday is going to be a special Nurses edition of The Price is Right. So hopefully some big winning will happen there. But until tomorrow, if it's me to do the recap, this is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everyone.